All right, here we go from Fenway. It was our sh network showcase game. Derby champion Aaron Judge on hand. And batting in the first against Drew Pomeranz, he lines out to Xander Bogarts. Yankees didn't score in the top of the first. Here's Jacoby Ellsbury. Still a few cat calls for him oh, yeah. when he visits Fenway. This one is driven to deep center. Back goes Jackie Bradley to the track, and he's got it. He and Mookie Betts are playing some kind of game. Jackie threw that ball purposely in yeah. the direction of Betts as if he was throwing a long pass. That was Brady to Edelman. Yeah. There he goes over the shoulder to gather it in and head for pay dirt, which in this case is the dugout. As you sit here, and this is one of the charms of places like Wrigley Field and Fenway Park, you can sit here and look out at the mound where Jordan Montgomery is standing and say, I pitched on that mound. Hopefully didn't give up a blast like this to Hanley Ramirez. And just like that, Ramirez gives the Red Sox a 2-1 lead. Oh, he mentioned the danger in the lineup, and Hanley represents the most dangerous. Here's Brett Gardner. Breaking ball, line to right. It's a base hit. Here comes Headley being waved home, and the Yankees draw to within a run. From center field camera, you'd think it was home run derby. I mean, they're coming out of their shoes trying to pull that ball over the monster in left field. And Sanchez may have done just that. Good bye. Over the monster, over the monster seats, and landing somewhere on Lansdowne. It's 4 3 Yanks. So here is Araldus Chapman, the 3 2. A bouncing ball and a tough chance, and Betts is going to reach. A bouncing ball taken at short by. Gregorius, but his throw is high, and it pulls Torres off the bag. And it is not scored as an error. It's an infield hit for Pedroia. He goes, and he's going to make it as a double steal, and runners are at second and third. That forces the Yankees to bring the infield in. And the 2-2 two -two to Bogarts. Hook towards second base. It goes off Torres. Everybody's safe, and the game is tied. Now, even with first and third, second base open, they're going to walk. Hanley set up, uh, go after the left hand hitters. And the 3 1 to Benintendi. That's it. The Red Sox truly walk it off. Red Sox win 5 4. They earn the walk off win as a rollish Chapman blowing his second straight save opportunity. Before Friday, Boston was 0 and 38 when trailing after 8. After the game. Dustin Pedroia talking about facing Chapman in the ninth. His fastball is electric. I mean, you you barely see it coming in. So you just got to try to find a way to, to put the bat on the ball and and hopefully you get one out over the plate. So, you know, we got some guys on and made something happen and uh, it's a great win. We know they're always going to be there in the end. Uh, they're the New York Yankees. So uh, we got to we got to find wins any way we can and, and just continue to keep playing good baseball. Yeah, it's frustrating because we put ourselves in some situations to win some games um, and we haven't been able to close them out for whatever reason. Not always in the ninth inning, sometimes in the seventh, sometimes in the eighth. Um, but you have to win those games. Um, you know, if you, if you want to win championships, you have to win those games. The Yankees took a 4-3 lead to the bottom of the ninth at Fenway Park, and naturally they called upon Araldus Chapman to try and finish it out. But as StatCast, powered by AWS, will show us, you don't always have to knock the cover off the ball to come back and win the game. Yeah, you don't have to hit it over 100 miles an hour like some of the home runs were hit. Starts off with Mookie Betts, little topspin grounder, that 82.6 miles an hour, Gregorius couldn't make a play on it. Then here comes Pedroia, top spin ground ball toward Gregorius, tries to make the play at second, 69.1 miles per hour. That set the stage for the win. Double steal, Betts on the front end, Pedroia behind him. Then Bogarts will come to the plate. He'll poke it towards second. And Torres has it go off his chest. Everybody's safe as the tying run scores. After Ramirez has walked intentionally to load the bases, Andrew Benintendi is walked quite unintentionally to force home the winning run. The Yankees never retired a man in the bottom of the ninth. The Red Sox come back to win it 5-4. to four. Hanley Ramirez had a two-run homer for the Sox. Gary Sanchez had the same for the Yankees. And now the Yanks trail Boston by four and a half in the American League East.